Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you 10 must-have tools for checking, setting up, and fixing your guitars. There are some important tools you'll need all the time, and most of them will be useful for more than just one thing. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Short disclaimer, if you want to know in detail where and how to use these tools on my top 10 list, check out the videos linked in the description box. The first tool is the string cutter. It doesn't really matter what kind of bass or guitar you have, it's a necessity, especially on guitars with Fender style vintage machine heads or Flood Rose bridges. Oh, and this is not only ugly, it's dangerous too. Second tool is a screwdriver. Phillips and flat hat. I don't think this tool needs any explanation. Third, Allen keys. No matter if it's the truss rod, the bridge saddle, knobs, or a Floyd Rose locking screw, you will need a fitting Allen key all the time. Four, soldering iron. As soon as you start fixing the electronics of your guitar or swap a pot or a pickup, you'll have to heat up the iron. Number five, tweezers. I could simply not live without these, especially when soldering. I've burnt my skin way too many times with hot wires and pots and whatever, so it's a must. Also, you don't have enough space for your fingers in the electronic cavity. Six, wrenches in different sizes. Loose machine heads, pots, and jacks. It will happen sooner or later, so be prepared. Number seven, multimeter for connection and battery checks. It's a mighty tool to find out where the problem is in the electronics. Number eight, knot files. Obviously for the knot, but also for sharp edges on the bridge saddle, on machine heads and anywhere else. Nine, fretboard oil. Unfinished wood needs some protection and cleaning every few months. Number 10 is a fret end file. Fret ends can get really sharp in dry climates and seasons. Wood shrinks and metal doesn't, at least not that much. So this guy can help you to file the ends of the frets that stick out. And I have a plus one. You'll also need a fine cloth. For cleaning your instrument, for oiling the fretboard, or just protecting the body when you're working on the electronics or on the bridge. I could go on and on with this list and mention rulers, sanding papers, etc. But you know what? I want you to write it in the comments below what your must-have tools are. Even though I didn't fix anything in this episode, I just really want to play my guitar, so um, it's time for a test ride, I guess. Let us know what you want to see in this series. And also, don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on in, man. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> With extra bass run. Number three. Number seven. Gleich noch, let us know. Yeah. Let us know, let us know, let us know.